welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I wanted to share how I welcomed the autumn season and my favorite things to do during the fall to make the most of it. Summer and autumn hold such a special place in my heart. Saying goodbye to summer is always bittersweet, but there's an undeniable magic in the air as autumn arrives. So for me, it's a time of change, of vibrant colors and crisp breezes, and I can't help but get excited for the new season. It's a time of the year to slow down and enjoy the little moments, but it also fills me with motivation, excitement and hope. There's just something about autumn that stirs my soul and fills me with warmth. It makes me want to bake cozy treats and envelop my senses in evocative autumn aromas. The comforting scent of cinnamon, the sweetness of apple, the earthiness of pumpkin and all those spices that instantly transport us to a cozy haven. So when I thought of what could be more perfect to bake for breakfast than cinnamon rolls, an autumn stable in the US where most of you come from, I knew I had to give it a try. Surprisingly, it's not that popular here, so this was my very first time making them. Let me tell you, it was an adventure in itself. The process was so fun and surprisingly easy. As you might know, I'm a proud advocate of a vegan lifestyle and I wanted to put a vegan twist on these classic cinnamon rolls. And I'll link the recipe I used down in the description so you can recreate the magic too if you want to. The result was beyond delightful. Those warm golden rolls emerged from the oven with a heavenly aroma that filled every corner of our home. Their soft pillowy texture and the sweet cinnamon spiced swirls were simply irresistible. You see, baking these rolls wasn't just about satisfying our taste buds, it was also about creating a moment, a memory and something to remember. The joy of indulging in these homemade delights brought us a lot of autumn cheer and it was like we were wrapping ourselves in a cozy cinnamon scented blanket of happiness. Surely it took a little longer than expected and Gedan and I ended up having a late breakfast but let me tell you it was so worth it. We're used to eating at strange hours after losing track of time whilst preparing food together and we've had the most unforgettable meals at the strangest hours. One time years ago we even had a 3 a.m. tiramisu which we still remember fondly today. We savored those cinnamon rolls, sipped our hot coffees and enjoyed the warmth of each other's company and it's moments like these that truly capture the essence of fall in my opinion, which is a season that invites us to slow down, savor the flavors and embrace the cozy comforts. Now with our hearts and bellies full of autumn goodness, let's transition to the cozy side of this wonderful season and talk about our autumn decor and today's sponsor Linen Shed. Linen Shed kindly sent me these amazing bed sheets to help us create a room decor that perfectly mirrors the changing nature outside and warmly welcomes autumn into our lives. Linen Shed is all about elevating your comfort and style with the softest and most refined 100% pure linen. I love inviting the nature inside, so I personally selected the colors ivory and natural and mixed and matched these to create a sophisticated, minimalist and clean autumn look in our room. Linen Shed's dedication to quality is evident in every detail. These linen bed sheets are made from the finest fine woven French linen, handpicked for perfection. They are as soft as clouds. Now as I work on my fall content, organize my ideas and edit my videos, Linen Shed's linen bed sheets provide a comforting and inspiring backdrop for my creative process. I want to express a heartfelt thank you to Linen Shed for making my autumn even more special with these amazing linen bed sheets. If you'd also like to refresh your room with Linen Shed, you can find the link to their website in the description box down below. After indulging in our delightful cinnamon roll breakfast, I felt an incredible surge of motivation. So I decided to take that energy and channel it into my work. I embarked on a journey of refreshing my workspace, reorganizing my computer, decluttering those digital folders and mapping out exciting fall content, which is my favorite time of the year to make content. You know, there's something about September that makes it feel even more like the beginning of a new year than January does, to me at least. It's a month where I'm at my most motivated and energetic self and this year is like a wave of determination has swept over me. I'm particularly hardworking and energetic right now. It feels like I'm on top of my game, especially in managing my ADHD. I've emerged from a challenging period filled with unlucky events and difficulties with a powerful and determined mindset. 
Remarkably, it's only been a few weeks since I found this newfound motivation and energy and yet I'm already seeing the fruits of my dedication. It's incredibly rewarding and it fuels my desire to keep pushing forward even more. As I was deeply engrossed in my work, the doorbell rang and interrupted my concentration. To my surprise, it was a PR box, a delightful gift sent by Peace and Love. So I couldn't help but think that this box must be meant for this video. So I decided to share the moment with you all and open it right here on camera. Let me introduce you to Peace and Love. They create the most exquisite and high quality selection of plastic free puzzles. Personally, I have a soft spot for puzzles, especially during the cozy autumn months when I can sip on hot cocoa and get lost in the artistry of assembling these intricate pieces. So when I stumbled upon their puzzles, I was instantly captivated by their elegance and eco-friendliness. So I reached out to them and you won't believe how wonderful they were. They were thrilled to send me two of my choice. So here are the two puzzles I selected and I must say I absolutely love them. What do you think? What caught my eye is not only their artistic design but also the thoughtful inclusion of a print of the picture which I can reference while putting the puzzle together. It's a small touch that I truly appreciated and it enhances the puzzle solving experience. If you're as enchanted by these puzzles as I am and want to explore Peace and Love's collection, you can find a link to their website in the description box down below. Now, as the afternoon sun dipped lower in the sky, we decided to embark on one of our cherished fall traditions, visiting a Yupik farm. Our mission was apples and pumpkins, of course, and these farms hold a special place in our hearts. This year, we're especially excited because we plan to use the pumpkins for something spectacular, a vegan pumpkin spice cake for Gaetan's upcoming birthday. We found mandrakes! <laughs> <laughs> and the kids started screaming at the same time. <laughs> That's a cute. Getting this. No, no, but look, look at these ones. They are even uglier. Hey, don't body shame them. Look, that one is curvy. <laughs> that one has a big nose. Oh, Mine is a beauty. Do you think it's rotten? It has some holes, that one? It has some holes. You guys, do you think it's rotten? I think it is rotten. We couldn't find the pumpkins yet, but we have found the apples and it's the opportunity for me to live my dreams and fill my little basket with my little red dress with little red apples. As we roam the rows of ripe apples and plump pumpkins, the anticipation of creating this cake together filled the air with excitement and I sincerely hope our cake looks just as divine as the picture in the recipe. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, I'm not showing you. <laughs> Meh. Oh, there's a bug on it. <laughs> oh, why me? I just want uh, to be aesthetic. City girl. Bugs. I'm not a city girl. I'm certainly not a farm girl either, though. That one. No, is that too low? You're not supposed to pick the ones that are. No, that's okay. But why not? That one. Right, go. Look, they are beautiful that ones one here. Is right there. Ah, good choice. Mm. Is it? <laughs> You gotta be observant. You gotta listen to nature. <laughs> Irene versus wild. Yeah. Oh no, there's a hole on it again. But check them before. <laughs> hey, how am I supposed to know? So the pumpkins are here and we're going there. Yes, yeah, so pretty. <laughs> I'll be sharing the incredible recipe for this cake down below in the description. Go. For all of you fellow pumpkin spice enthusiasts, yeah. I know there's lots of you out there. Trust me, it's not just Hello. delicious though, it's also the cutest and prettiest cake it's you will ever it. see. Mandrake and a big fat 
<laughs> and while Gaetan is busy putting the produce in the car, we're gonna visit some friends. Here they are. Gaetan reached here before I did with the car. He cheated. Hi! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! Are you friendly? You seem super friendly. Can I? No? Hello! Are you so cute? Can I offer you a flower? Yes, I can. Here one. For you? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this cozy autumn journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a moment of our seasonal adventures. I truly enjoyed making this video and it made me get out of my comfort zone and try new things and have so much fun. So um, I'd also love to know your favorite activities and recommendations to enjoy this beautiful autumn season fully. Please share them in the comments down below. And until next time, stay cozy and embrace the beauty of fall. Bye!